So he's going to have to do that as well. Number five, he's going to fight the wars of God. Now these wars, when I was a kid in yeshiva, when I was a kid in yeshiva, I went to a very Haredi yeshiva, and the teachers always said, these wars are spiritual wars that will be fought. And in my yeshiva, they never taught us Tanakh. It was all Gemara. Right? And if you studied any Tanakh, it was because the Gemara quoted a verse from Tanakh. That was pretty much it. That was a kid. Unfortunately, why? It's very sad, because there's nothing holy than a Torah. And I left yeshiva not knowing Tanakh at all. My daughters, God bless them, they know Tanakh fantastically. Every story, I had to memorize chunks of it. Stuff that I didn't even know existed in Tanakh. Okay? But unfortunately, the boys did not. If you look in Tanakh, it seems to be very clear that the wars for Mashiach comes will be actual physical battles. It's like tons of them. Among them, the most famous that you've heard of is Gog and Magog, who we'll talk about later on. There's a lot to say on, on that battle. Not that we know exactly who's, in different opinions, who's going to be involved in it. Some say the Jews, right, against the Bene Shmal. Some say the Jews against the Bene Edom, Romans, or the descendants. Some say we won't even be involved in it. Right? It's just between those two. Many opinions. There's a chapter in the future book where I talk about it, bring down the various opinions on it. But that's a physical battle. That does not exclude the spiritual battle at the same time. And actually the entire battle will be based upon theological, theological and spiritual values. Rabbi Hirsch says the battle of Gog and Magog is Gog is Gog, roof. It's the battle of the roof people and the non-roof people. What does that mean, the roof people? Gog is Gog. A Gog is a roof. So people who put their faith in their roof and those people who put their faith in God, as in the roof of the Sukkah, for example. And by the way, Sukkot has a lot to do. That's where you read about Mashiach and Gog and Magog on Sukkot because there's this whole, God bless you, bless right? You. The Sukkah is actually a reference to the faith that God, the Jewish people have in Hashem, putting their faith in Hashem and not in their safe roofs. There's a lot going on over there as well. Rabbi Hirsch speaks about that. Okay, fine. But according to the Rambam, I'm saying the Pshat is, these are actual wars of God. Physical wars that Jewish people will go through. 